So you're looking for a softbox lighting solution for your YouTube studio, maybe you do photography, videography, and you want a softbox lighting solution that's kind of cheap or on a budget and um, can do everything that you need. Maybe you want bicolor lighting or maybe multiple softboxes to come in the kit that is portable, maybe can take batteries and not necessarily be tied down to an outlet, maybe have some accessories and everything. So we're gonna talk about one of those softboxes today. It's from a company called Newer. Newer did not send out the soft boxes. I purchased them with my own money. And in the description, there will be a link to a kit landing page that will have these soft boxes mentioned in the video today, as well as some of the accessories that you might want to pick up um, to make your lights a little bit more versatile. Today, the older version of the soft box lighting kits that we're going to be talking about is a 48 watt version. Um, the older kits are usually unavailable on Amazon, but you can still sometimes see them pop up. Um, usually they're around $80. So that's very, I think, budget friendly. But there's some pros and cons to those older version versus the newer version, which the newer version normally is $155. But I was able to purchase mine for $100. Um, and that sale usually happens um, all the time. So I would just say add it to you your uh, watch list or something like that to see if the price is going up and down and try to get it because I think at $100 these are a still. There is a 100, uh, 100 watt version that is roughly around um, $169 on Amazon and uh, that one again it just gives you a little bit more wattage from obviously from 48 to 100. Only really get those lights if you're looking to maybe you have another lighting uh, solution in your in your office or studio maybe you have to fight the sun or something like that you need a more powerful wattage light then that's the only reason why you would go for those lights but i would say try to control your lighting environment as much as possible but if you're somebody who finds themselves maybe needing that extra oomph behind your lights then i would definitely would say go with the both the 48 and 100 watts come with everything that's going to be mentioned today there is a three pack though of the 48 watt version um, but that one's going to be a little bit um, on the higher getting up there, not necessarily on a budget, but that one is two and 19. Um, so again, it depends on if you need three lights or something like that. So the older versions, the difference is, is that the clamping mechanism that allows you to clamp to tripods, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, and that's my first con of these lights. This is the mechanism that's supposed to allow you to screw in your clamp down on a tripod uh, stand head um, to the actual tripod itself. So the light is attached um, on the older versions. Obviously, this is a little bit cheaper. Um, so this happened around four months. I've had these uh, softbox lighting, the older ones for about six months. And all I did for the older one is tape it to the actual tripod. Now, other than that, um, and the tripods that come with the older version seem to be a little bit more cheaply made versus the newer version. Um, and then the back of the, the actual older versions have uh, an LED screen that's only split down the middle, kind of like an old school alarm clock. Um, one side is for the actual brightness and the other side is for the color temperature. You can change the color temperature on these lights in particular from uh, 5600 Kelvin to 3200 Kelvin. And um, these are not going to be as bright as some daytime lights that you will see that are not by color, meaning that you can't change the color temperature. So those lights are going to be big, uh, brighter than these ones that can or that the ones that are by color. But if you're looking for something for your light to be a little bit more versatile and you want to be able to change you know settings in your camera for whatever reason then i would definitely suggest going with something that's by color so each light that is being mentioned comes with the option of being able to put batteries inside the batteries do not come with these lights but they all take the sony uh, mpf 550 the 750 and the 970 if you want to run these lights for a long period of time and you don't want to hook the lights up to a wall then I would say go with the maximum of, of 970 because that's going to give you more time of continuous lighting. But I use the uh, Sony um, NPF batteries of 550 and that usually, depending on the brightness setting, gets me around three hours roughly. Now, each light does come with the, the charging, uh, not charging, but the, the outlet uh, power brick. So you can plug these up to um, obviously an outlet but the older version, as you can see, the casing is uh, 
kind of broken um, both of the older version lights came like this with their power bricks like this um, it's not the battery swelling or anything like that it's just that's how they came um, and both of the older ones as you can hear that rattling has something loose in there i don't know if it's a screw and that's why it's broken like that but i've had no issues again i've had these lights for six months paying sub hundred dollars for the older version lights and that's what pretty much what you get when you do that um, the newer ones again the clamping mechanism seems to be uh, built better the tripod seem to be built better and i have both lights right now of the newer version clamped to the desk I will have uh, in that kit link in the description with these softbox lightings. Again, I will have accessories that you can use to attach um, these softboxes in different unique ways to make it a little bit more versatile. Now, all the lights come with a carrying case, and I would say on the older version, the carrying case material seems to be, um, at least the outside material seems to be uh, built a little bit of higher quality material. Um, both cushions um, on the older one and the new one seem to be the same, but you can't really tell on camera you would have to touch the bags themselves individually in person to see there is a quality uh, difference a newer one still will protect your lights and stuff like that but it just seems to be of lower quality i will say building these soft boxes a lot of complaints i've seen on amazon on the reviews is the little rods that you uh, use to attach the light to the soft boxes they seem to break on people but i think they're honestly those people are just being a little bit rough with their lights uh, because it can be a little bit tedious slash um, frustrating to put these lights together uh, but i've put four together and never had a rod snap on me or break or anything like that um, or the light break or wherever where the rods go into so again be gentle put it together take your time um, have patience and you can and you can do it the newer ones all come with the remote you can hook up four lights on individual channels so you can control the brightness the color temperature on all four individually um, there is a all button in the middle so you can control them all together if need be um, you can change the color temperature and in increments of 10 on the remote and you can change the brightness on the increments of one you can hold down the actual buttons instead of just double like clicking and stuff like that you could turn them off and on if you do leave the switches on the back of the lights on and you turn them off there is a somewhat audible noise letting you know that the lights are still plugged in the fans on these lights are not loud at all or wherever again barely audible and stuff like that so they're not going to bug you while you're filming your videos the only thing is if you're changing the color temperature on the remote obviously there's no way to tell what color temperature you're at so you will have to look at the back of your lights but if you set it and forget it um, as far as the color temperature goes you would be fine um, with the two pack you get six of these um, and again there's just blue yellow and red they're just color fills that you can put over the light to get different colors if you need to um, there's there's literally a three pack for each individual light so if you get the three pack you're going to get nine of those the newer versions do have like an updated screen um, to make it look more modern and um I don't really like these screens at certain viewer angles so like i got my lights clamped to the desk and if i try to you know look at the the brightness and stuff like that because of the modern screen it's really hard to get the digital readout whereas the older one since it's just like an old school alarm cheap alarm clock or wherever with this digital screen i can definitely see it better at different viewing angles you might have to adjust the light depending on how high you get to see the actual digital screen readout um that's just another downside i guess of the being updated or wherever i just kind of wish the video angles were a little bit better leds on the newer ones seem to be spaced out a little bit differently than the older ones so it's harder to see the leds through the soft boxes versus the older ones i could still see them through and these newer ones the way they're placed you can't really see the led lights unless you turn the brightness all the way down now if you are looking for something that has a smaller soft box because this soft box footprint is kind of big and can be kind of awkward since it's so tall and long as you can see um i will have a link in the kit link to uh, a boeing's mount one that you can put a smaller um, soft box that's uh, kind of like octagon shaped um and it'll probably fit in tighter i would say spaces or something like that and have a smaller footprint and um, be able to uh would be placed around other items if space or size is an issue for you but those uh, lights and the soft box are kind of a little bit more expensive again going over the 200 dollar mark and it's only going to be for one so th that option is going to still be there for you if you are interested in that soft box as mentioned all over youtube it's usually around 50 dollars it comes in a myriad of names one of them is mount dog 
Um, I have never seen really anything too bad about Mount Dog. Unfortunately, they don't have controls on the actual light itself. So you have to use the remote. I just like having a digital display to see my color temperature, my brightness and everything like that and still be able to control it on the back of the lights instead of having um, to use a remote. Plus, again, these lights come with the option of using batteries. Usually those cheaper soft boxes do not allow you to do that. So you're always tied to a wall outlet. You can get by with the Mount Dog version, but they come with bulbs and, but they are by color, but they come with bulbs and it's really hard to find replacement bulbs for that. And like I said, sometimes companies do not sell them. And sometimes if you are buying the lights, they're not from the company, but there might not be the same wattage or something might be different of it. And you can see the problem that arises with something like that. I would just completely avoid having all those potential issues and getting something like this. So that's just the pros and cons of these lights, as well as of what lights you should possibly avoid, like using the bulbs and making sure that you get by color ones. Um, unless you know for some reason you need a certain color temperature, definitely go with bicolor. And if you need a more powerful one, go with the 100 watt version. If you're interested in any of my social media links, my link to my Twitter's down there uh, in the description so you can reach out, talk to me or see what I'm tweeting about. And if you want to see me live stream some video games, maybe that's something that you're into. You can check out my Twitch uh, link that's linked down there as well. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, my name is Ben at Squidhead Joe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your time in the fish tank. And if you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody.